Hello, guys. So my name is Logan, a.k.a. a Um Today, I'm going to be showing you guys how to turn a basic track of audio into a MIDI file. So let's get to it. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to create a bass line. Um, we're going to do a 1, 4, 3, 2, and then 5 chord. Uh, the 4 will be minor in this chord progression, but you won't be able to tell until I actually start playing the chords. So, um, let's get going. Alright, cool. Turn that down. Okay. So first things first, trim the audio clip so that it is the length of which you want to be looping. And then you go here, right click on the clip, and you would convert melody to new MIDI track. Now it's going to take a second. Um, let's, see, let's see how accurate it is. You can do this with melodies, um, vocal melodies. A lot of cool ideas can come out of this. All right, so let's give it a listen. Cool. So there's a few messed up notes in there. However, we can fix those. No problem. Okay, and you can also see that it registers it by velocity as well, which is pretty cool. You can do some funky stuff with that. So what we'll do is we'll get rid of this guitar track. Actually, no, we'll keep it for right now. We'll drag this MIDI clip up into the bass line and see how it sounds with our operator bass. We'll command all. We'll drop it down an octave. Shift, hold shift, and down arrow key. That drops everything one octave. So, all right. So we're going to bring that limiter down a little bit. Okay, now let's get some chords on here. So, what we'll do is we'll create some guitar chords first and then we'll go ahead and do some key chords and I'll show you why in a second All right. make sure the guitar is on So, let's say we really dug this take. We would go ahead and convert harmony now into a new MIDI track. Now, the reason why... I did the guitar take first is because a take like that would be very difficult for this to read. Um, it's probably going to be all over the place, and I'm just doing this for sake of example. Um, so when this gets loaded, I'll go ahead and show you how horrid it's probably going to be. I would be surprised if it wasn't. All right, so let's give it a listen. sounds pretty cool but we're not gonna use it 
So go ahead, delete that. So we got our guitar take, right? Now we're going to create a alleged keys take. So by doing that, what we got to do is play this exact same thing, just super smooth. No hammer-ons, pull-offs, crazy slides and bends and stuff. We're going to try to make it at, as easy as possible for this, this uh, machine to pick up our harmonies. So we'll create another audio track. Command T. Set our input for the guitar. Record on. Unsolo that. You can even mute that right now. And we're going to do a clean, straight ahead take. Make sure the guitar is on first. <laughs> That should do it. So, let's go ahead and check it out. Or rather, convert it. Um, we'll snap it to the grid. We'll convert harmony to new MIDI track. And we'll see how it does. I'm hoping it's good. I went easy on it. Played as smooth as I could. All right, let's see here. Let's give it a listen. Looks pretty good. Cool. So, not perfect, but we'll be able to use it. So let's go in here and clean it up a little bit. Command A to select them all. Right click, quantize. a beautiful piano track without even touching a piano and it took a lot less effort than it would if we were to have drawn all of these out thinking theoretically and stuff even though I am an advocate of music theory I just like to be lazy and do things like this sometimes okay so let's give it a listen we'll mute that track bring in the guitar track once more we can pan that to the right and see what we got woo one more time oh kinda sounds like something Will Smith would rap to so we'll go ahead and we'll loop these just go ahead and click loop we can totally get rid of this and hit loop make sure it's all snapped to that grid and just drag them out now we got the next new hot rap beat up in here See, that's what happens when you don't go inside and clean it up. Here we go. Snap that back to four bars. And guys I hope you enjoyed this tutorial I hope you got something from it or can make use of something um, not only can this be done with a guitar or a bass or any stringed instrument but you can do it with your voice you can do it with samples that you find online so um, this is a very powerful tool inside of Ableton 
Um, once again, I'm Logan uh, with the Claw Vibes. Um, be sure to check out the rest of the channel. I'm going to be doing a lot more tutorials like this um, in the near future, and uh, I plan to keep on doing these things. So uh, give the channel a subscribe if you're kind, and uh, I'll see you in the next one.